Ian Mac of Singapore was among 16 new ambassadors who have presented their letters of credence since the outbreak of the Israel-Hamas war. The last new diplomats for 2023 on Tuesday presented their credentials to President Isaac Herzog. They were Ian Mac of Singapore, Shpan Sodiko of North Macedonia and Veronica Abbott of Ecuador. The trio are among 16 new ambassadors who have presented their letters of credence since the outbreak of the Israel-Hamas war. Mac made history as Singapore's first resident ambassador to Israel, although the two countries have had close diplomatic relations since Singapore gained independence in August 1965. And Israel is a major supplier of arms to Singapore. Mac said that he was honoured and pleased to be taking up his position at a time when Singapore can demonstrate its solidarity with Israel. Singapore unequivocally condemns Hamas, the massacre on October 7, demands the immediate release of all the hostages from Gaza, and supports Israel's right to defend itself. Singapore also supports international efforts for a just and sustainable peace in the Middle East. Meg and Herzog discuss Israel's economic assistance to Singapore in its early years. They also spoke of the visit to Singapore in November 1986 by Herzog's father president, Haim Herzog. And his meeting then with Singapore's legendary founding prime minister, Lee Kuan Yew. Sodico of North Macedonia was previously posted to London. Abbott is also Ecuador's vice president and, like Herzog, she has three sons who accompanied her to the ceremony, which differed from the norm. As a rule, the president greets the new ambassador in the main hall and after receiving the letter of credence and letter of recall of the ambassador's predecessor, introduces the new envoy to the senior members of his staff and the ambassador in turn introduces the president to his or her senior staff and to accompanying family members. Then they all enter a more intimate reception room, in which the president and the ambassador chat, pose for photos, drink a toast, the ambassador writes an inscription in the guest book. And they part company until they meet again on some other diplomatic occasion. At this time of year, the president traditionally hosts a Christmas come New Year reception for the foreign diplomatic corps. But this year, with Israel at war, he decided after a small reception, to hold briefings, which Herzog and the coordinator of government activities in the territories, civil department, Haid Kunal. Elad Goran gave to all the ambassadors currently stationed in Israel. This meant that the presentation ceremonies were held in the small reception room, standing, with minimal conversation and no introductions. Goran's briefing was mainly devoted to humanitarian aid supplied by Israel, such as field hospitals, and explaining the lengths to which Israel has gone to protect innocent civilians in Gaza. Where thousands of deaths reported by the Hamas-run health ministry has withdrawn much sympathy from Israel abroad.